I'm, I'm more of a get out, be gone for a week, come back home on a weekend kind of guy. Risky33 says, why is most of your videos in Patreon private? I'm in a $50 tier, bro. There's a video you want to see. Tell me, I'll let you see it. It's gay. But uh, I made a lot of them private because they weren't in use. And they, uh, the, the, the rough nature of those videos mess up the integrity of my channel and the algorithm. So I made them private. I, you, you, ain't you, if, 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 you, you ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. I myself thought about getting a Patreon and, you know, and try to do a membership base there. But I, you know, I, you know, I guess... It's it's just too much for for a person like me to just do separate videos for different. I mean, for a separate platform, and then concentrate on doing videos for YouTube. So I just left Patreon alone. D Town Bound One says, <laughs> oh, "Look at this. What happened to TV? The white folks got them." That was a nice try, uh, downtown bound. Yeah, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Okay. I, you, you, ain't you, 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 you ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I you know I mean I've been watching Trucker Brown for quite a while. I think Trucker Brown is at his best when he's when he's ranting and raving. <laughs> I think. That, <laughs> I'm for real. I, I honestly think he's at his best when he's ranting and raving. When when he's ranting and raving, he that's when he get the most views, he get the most engagement, and it's much more entertaining. If somebody truly asked me, I would be like, I would tell the truth, and the truth is, he was much better when he was ranting and mad all the time because Dirty Red was fucking breaking down. Or some of the banter that he was doing back and forth with uh, Lo Shine, that shit was pretty good. And like the shit that they was doing, that shit was kind of funny. The real silent M. Busso? These names, where are you guys getting them from? Where are you guys getting them from, bro? Any advice on being an instructor? I was an instructor uh, for CR England. And um, to be honest with you, if you are customer service orientated, then oriented, then you should, you know, go for it. Um, me seeing people every day and and interacting with people every day just doesn't work with my personality anymore. Um, so that's basically what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to be able to communicate the curriculum, you know, help these people out, and you're gonna have to learn different personalities on the fly. Right. and learn different learning styles on the fly so if you want to be a cdl instructor if that's what you're referring to then that's something to consider you know dealing with people every day and you know uh seeing them from start to finish and, and being their helping hand in that regard mm. i honestly don't have no advice but the advice that was given when i did my when i did the conversation with one of my guests their advice is if you want to become an instructor Try to be an instructor for the student. And let me explain that. Number one, if you want to be an instructor, don't come in into it, don't come into it quick. Just because the 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 company is offering you X amount of dollars and you only been driving for six months. Yeah, don't don't accept that because you still learning yourself. You know, you're you're the blind leading the blind, okay? Because you're still learning yourself. Six months is not enough time to actually be an instructor. You're going to need experience. You're going to need, I, I say, to be honest, I say two years. I say two years, and I know them companies is going to come right after you and be like, yo, you know, you can make more money doing this. You can make more money being a trainer and instructor. You can, you know, you all the money, money, money. They, that's what they're going to throw at you. They're going to throw at you the money. But you got to do it. You Let's be honest. You got to do it from the heart. When that person get on the truck, you got to honestly be into that person to train them. And not just be that type of trainer just to have them on the truck so you can make more money. That's not good because bad training 
bring, I mean, produce bad drivers. Let me say it again. Bad training produce bad drivers. Bots God. Yes, sir. Bots God. He says, can you still get your CLP at the DMV? And the CLP is your learner's permit, your commercial learner's permit. What is that? Yeah, uh, your commercial learning permit. Yeah, I think you should be able to, unless you go through a company sponsor, then yeah, you sh you're supposed to go there, take the 20 question test. You know, they give you a permit. Sometimes they give it to you in the form of a um, temporary permit paper or an actual card. Uh, but you should be able to go to the DMV. In fact, depending on where you go, they'll make the appointment for you. Okay. Uh, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you, if, you, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Yes, you can still get your CLP at the learner's permit, but you won't be able to do it like you used to. You won't be able to go in, get the book, read the book, go through the book, and then go in and take the test and walk out with your crisp, clean C, D, or a CLP. No, it's the, the government took it over, bruh. The Jedi are taking over. The government took it over. Now it is uh, FMCSA, reg um, what do you call it, uh, regulated, that you have to find an accredited school that's accredited and registered with the FMCSA in order to get your uh, CLP, your learner's permit. Whitney Inspires. Oh, that's a nice name. I like that. All right, Whitney says, this is my first time on your channel. Do you offer classes to learn the business side? And if so, when is your next class date? Uh, Whitney, I do not offer no business class. Um, and I suggest you leave all these business classes on YouTube alone because most of them are scams anyway. Yeah. Uh, the best way for you to learn how to do the business side is for you to lease with somebody who has training wheels on for like a year and then you can kind of figure the ropes out yourself but it is such a cesspool of of, of scamming that i'm not interested in, in uh dealing with it okay. I, you, you ain't got you, the if, answers if, if you, if, but you, you ain't got the answers sway since i've been following him I, I i really don't think trucker brown ever offered any business classes i i really don't think that he that he did there's a lot of gurus so-called gurus so-called trucking internet uh facebook gurus and instagram gurus that's over here teaching trying call themselves trying to teach the business side of trucking there's just a lot of scammers there's a lot of scammers you know they're going to ask you for uh a cost a consultation fee 30 40 50 dollars consultation fee and then they only going to give you like a 10 20 minute zoom call and stuff that they're offering you can pretty much find on the net on the net you you can pretty much find on the net EIN number free from your government I mean free from the government all you got to do is type in your type in the state that you're in type in EIN fill out the application and it's free uh EIN number is the business social security number you're going to need that in order to get a banking uh get a banking account in the business name okay all right uh Brad and Dunn Street number you need if you want that Look up Brad and Dunn Street and fill out the application. I think you got to pay a fee or something like that. Bam, bam, boom. Uh, your motor carrier number, your MC number, yeah, same thing with that. All you got to do, look it up on the internet, fill out the application, pay a fee, boom. A lot of the stuff that these so-called gurus going to tell you what you need to start the business and stuff like that, are, are they getting there? Ask them where they getting their information from. Just ask them and see if they're going to be honest enough to tell you, yeah, uh, I get it from such and such and such and such. But what they're not going to tell you, that majority of the stuff that I just mentioned is free information on the Internet. Or if you just want to go to LegalZoom, 
Go to LegalZoom, pay a fee, and they'll handle everything that you need to get any type of business started, trucking or otherwise. I like your name, The Legendary. I like that, bro. That's a good name. That That's a good name right there. He says, I just had a trip with my lady, but just got a week. How is it teaming with each other for the for a long period? Um, it works fine for us. Yeah. Uh, depends on your relationship and what's going on. That's a good question. And that and that's a good question to 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 ask. Um to ask. Now I'm not a team driver, not a not a fan of a team driver, you know, but if I had my girl with me, I, I think it's going to have to come down to getting used to each other every day in this small compartment. OK, every day in this small compartment, there's going to be times that you're going to need a break from one another. And it's kind of hard to do that in a truck. Dre Day. Yeah. Dre Day, what's good? What's good? All right. He says, Yerp. Yerp. Bro, Yerp. I think you're on the wrong channel for that, my G. I think you're on the wrong channel for that. I think that's a, that's, that's a guilty 718 saying, bro. You know what? We'll hold that thought. Yerp. Yeah, you you on the wrong channel for that one. I'm just saying. Aunt Owen, there is question here. He says, any advice for fighting depression in the truck? Good question, Aunt Owen. Number one, stop having a more culture and think you always need more money and be happy with your job. That'll help. Stop coming online and looking at other people who say they got fleets and then you want the fleet and you ain't got there yet and then you get depressed. Pick a job that fits what you're trying to get done. So if you're trying to be home every every weekend, you need to pick a job for that. Don't go OTR if you ain't trying to be OTR. Don't go local if you ain't trying to be local. Basically, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Stop looking to social media and TikTok boss chick inspirational sayings stop looking to that to try to tell you your direction in trucking you need to find your direction in trucking and then you won't be out here depressed because most of the people you see doing that they're depressed yeah you ain't got the answers you ain't got the answers sway fighting depression in the truck depression is is hard and it and it comes on quick but if you got somebody that you can call and 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 talk to, do that. Music, get out, get some fresh air, pull over to the side, get your composure. You know, it's it's hard in the truck, and this is one topic that a lot of us don't even touch on. A lot of us don't even touch on uh, depression, so. You know, with those what those key things that I just mentioned, you know, just hold it together, bruh. Um, just try to, you know, if you can't find somebody to talk to or something like that, try to get your mind, try to get your mind right on something else other than that, other than what's bringing you down so you can get yourself back up. All right. And if you want to reach out to me, bruh, it's 216 60020 nine zero get at me man we 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 can chop it up man that's what i do the best conversations starts over here on the lockout man podcast show legendary he says how to prevent swollen feet as a driver that's a good question bro yeah no i'm be real if you you know you're you're starting to you need to go to the doctor to figure out what's going on with your circulation and sodium you know, you need to figure out what's going on while your feet are swelling in the first place. Because, I mean, you are technically sitting down and the blood flow is not the same as you having um, to be walking or so. But, right. um, yeah, that could be, a you know, somewhere a doctor at that point. Yeah, you need to seek medical help. And, 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 you know. and I think that's something that we don't talk about. Get out and walk. Uh, get out and walk. Uh, a lot of drivers say use compression socks. Um. 
If you get a chance, go over to Walmart and get yourself one of them feet, uh, you know, one of them feet soakers and put some Epsom salt. Get one of them feet soakers that got the vibrating at the bottom. That's, oh, it's fucking heaven, bro. It is fucking heaven. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, grab you one of those and, uh, you know, put some. I, I know it's going to be hard, but try to find somewhere where you can get some warm water and some Epsom salt and just soak your feet in goodness, bro. But on the for real, though, you, you might need to, you know, go to your doctor and check out the reason why your feet are swollen, too, bro. So these names, bruh. So says, need advice. I'm 27 years old, been driving for six years, clean record, have all my endorsements, have experience in van, reefer, intermodal, and doubles. But he says you don't want to make a thousand dollars with the mega carriers. He says, company driver, help. <laughs> 